Yeah, that's not mine, but. Oh, here it is right here. All right, I'm ready. Okay. The number is 323. Uh-huh. That's where your vehicle is. Give me one moment, okay? I'm going to put you on hold, okay? All right. So here's what's going on, guys. Uh, the project car got towed. Uh, I got a call this morning from my dad, and he sent me a picture of a, a letter. Basically, that letter is from the sheriff's department saying that the project car got towed again from that alley that it was parked in. Um, so right now I'm trying to figure out where it is and how much it's going to cost to retrieve it, which is uh, it's pretty unfortunate, but it's just what's, it's what's going on right now. So, first we have to figure out who, have to figure out who called the vehicle to, in to get towed, and, and why. I mean, it wasn't really on private property, but, I don't know, man, this is just, I can't believe this car got towed twice, dude, like. I don't even know if I even want to continue trying to work with it again because it's just so frustrating, man, you know? It's so, so frustrating. But at the minimum, I'm going to figure out how much it's going to cost. It's probably going to continue at an insane rate per day. Um, it's not too crazy. Hopefully, I can get it today, but I don't know. Sucks. Thank you for holding. Are you there? Yes. Okay, so what you'll have to do is I'm going to give you your file number that's associated. What type of vehicle is it, just to verify? Uh, it's a BMW 325. Uh-huh. And what color? Uh, blue. And what year? 2002. Okay. So you have uh, registration and all of that to show that you are the, are the registered owner? Uh, yeah, I, uh, we have the title. Okay. Is your name on it? Uh, yeah, well, it, we, okay, you know. Okay, perfect. Yeah, That's fine. So, we're South LA Sheriff's Station, and the address here is 1310, the one that you provided. Mm-hmm and you verified with me. So you'll come here, you can let them know that your vehicle was um, stored at Kelmark Tow, and you need to get a, a release um, slip. And that's ninety. That's gonna cost you $93 in order to get the release. And then they'll, once you pay the $93 to, or the amount of, to get your vehicle, they'll give you the form and you'll take it to the tow company and then they'll release the car to you. Okay. So that's generally how it works. Is there another fee with the tow company as well? Uh, I am not sure. I believe there may be. So, but in order to get the release, you have to have the ninety-three dollars. You may have incurred some storage fees. So that's why I gave you the number to Kelmark. You can call them first and find out how much it will cost, and then that way you can just come pick up the amount from us and then go there. Okay. Uh, and uh, okay. what time are you guys open until today? We're a 24-hour operation. So you can just come in to the station. And you're welcome. Take care and have a great day. Oh, you too. Bye. <sighs> Dude, it's the same. It's the exact same thing that happened last time. You got to go to the sheriff's department. You got to pay the initial fee. Then you have to go to the tow yard and pay the actual storage fee. So now I'm going to call the tow yard and see how much it's currently gonna cost if I got it today, which I won't even be able to get today. Oh, this is an absolute nightmare, man. It's an absolute nightmare. So she said $93. It's gonna be $93 plus whatever this cost is. You know, all this could have been avoided if, uh, if we didn't put it in the alley, but you know, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm Mark Jones. Come and see you. Hold just one minute. Sure.
Yeah, I'm calling to see if you guys, well, you do have a vehicle apparently that I have and I want to check the status of it, see how much it'll cost to come get it today and... Okay, yeah, we do have it here, sir. You need to get a release from the Sheriff's Department, South LA Sheriff's. Uh-huh. And your fees as of today are four ninety five ninety. Okay, how much does that go up by per day? Um, the sheriff, so you're looking at forty dollars and seventy cents per day, sir. Okay, hold on. Let me just write that down quickly. Uh, so you said the storage of this. Uh, did, does it say who or where uh, called the tow? You got to go to the sheriff department and file the complaint there. Okay, uh, so it doesn't give you guys any info on who. No. Okay, okay, thanks. Uh, what time are you guys open until? 7 to 7, 7 days a week. Okay, thanks, Bob. Alright, so we got our numbers. It's pretty much going to come out to 600 bucks to get it today. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't think it's worth it. I might just let it, I might just let it go, man. I might just let it go. This shit has been a nightmare literally from the beginning, and now it's... It's gone beyond a nightmare. It's, slit, it's got towed for the second time. It's like a sign. It's like a sign. I feel, I genuinely feel as though I should just give up on that shit. It's so defeating and so... Oh man, I don't know. I gotta talk to Johnny. I gotta talk to Johnny because he's, he's a mastermind behind this. Johnny! Yeah! Uh, shit service in here, but go. What, uh, should I go try and get it towed today? It was like, it said it's gonna be 600 bucks all together to get it out. Yeah, go grab a wheel from the shop and then bring it here. Uh, alright. Um, a wheel from, from Alvin's shop? Just any wheel? Yeah. I, I left wheels in the back. Just grab any of those. I left BMW wheels. Okay, like out by the fence in the back or where? Yeah, like right on the side. Like where all those bricks are, there's a wheel right there. That was the one I was going to put on it. Okay, I'm going to go see what's up. Alright, let me know. I'll all be right. here for a while. Alright. Uh, today is Valentine's Day, so that's what I got this little doggy for. Just to go get my Valentine something nice, but that's probably not going to be in this video. This is, uh, right now I'm going to my dad's to pick up the title for the E46. Uh, at this point, man, I want you guys to comment below. Let me know if it's worth it to continue on this project. Should I spend the now $700 as of today because I filmed that yesterday? Uh, approximately, I'm assuming after taxes, it's going to be around $700. Is it worth it to get this car out of the impound? Like, be serious with me. Like, is it worth it? Like, there's this thing called the sunk cost fallacy, right? I want you guys to look it up. And it's where you sink a lot of money into something. And it's not giving you a return, but you keep putting money into it. Like, you keep just... Because you think that it's going to pay off. But right now, it's like... I don't know. It's not, it's not been panning out the way I thought whatsoever. So... Uh, I think that's what I'm going through right now, honestly. I want you guys to comment below. Let me know if I should spend the money to get this car out and try and get it cracking or if I should just let it go, forget about the idea for now, maybe get something else and something that I can do more work on myself. Maybe, I don't know, like I'm seriously lost right now. That's why I'm turning to you guys. So comment below, let me know what you guys think. But either way, we're gonna go get the title just so I can look at the car, like, I don't know, see if there's any new damage to it and just like figure out what I'm gonna do from there. Maybe get it, maybe just spend the money today. So by tomorrow it's gonna be an extra pretty much 50 bucks. Technically 40, but really 50. Let me know. All right, we are at the tow yard where the project car is being held. Not really sure what I'm gonna do today because I won't even be able to take it out today. It doesn't have a wheel on it. So we can't get it towed. That's the biggest problem. We need to get a wheel so we can put it on a flatbed. Uh, if you know AAA, they won't tow non-running vehicles. They're usually cool enough to do it if it at least has wheels. But uh, if I don't at least have wheels on it, I won't be able to tow it. So we got to take care of that. But right now, I'm just going to take a look at it, see how what type of shape it's in, try and decide if I even want it, and see how much it's going to cost if I get it today or tomorrow and figure it out from there.
do you need out of the vehicle? Uh, well, I actually just want to take a look at it. You going to print a vehicle? Uh, no, to release a vehicle. Oh, to release? Okay. I want to get the car. Sign here. Hmm? Generally list that you're going to take out of the car right there. Okay. Okay, we're right outside the door. He's coming around to take you to the vehicle. Okay. Uh, nothing, probably. Okay. Yeah, nothing. Uh, I'm not sure. I think uh, the, the shop that I, was, I had it left to work on, they parked it outside one day, and one of the neighbors... What color is it? Blue? Oh, no. Oh, no. brought a nice silver one. Huh. Yeah, I honestly don't know why they towed the this car. It's like a project car, it doesn't have an engine or nothing. It's just a shell. Oh no. <laughs> There's too many BMWs in my head. Oh really? They get towed pretty often, huh? So we're gonna start with that one? No, it's blue. It's kinda like a lighter blue, yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> Let's start right here in this section. Oh, you see that Nissan, that black Nissan, oh, that busted bumper? Yeah. All the cars to the left. Yeah, this way. Okay. Hey, you know what else? It also missing a front wheel. Missing front wheel? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then let's go there. Yeah. Yeah, you never been to the front wheel. Gotcha. Ah, uh, yeah, that is pretty nice. So do these cars end up at auction, or do they just sit here? Yeah, if you don't pick them up. Huh. Yeah. Some of these are accidents, some are just... Oh, all this is, yeah, accidents and huh. thefts. Oh, gotcha. Chases. Damn. Chases, huh? That looks like it was in a chase. Actually, you know what? This is a... It was parked right next to this. No. Yeah, I was parked right next to this Mustang. Oh, okay, so you got them together. Yeah, that's not mine, but... Oh, here it is right here. <sighs> wow. Okay, Denard. Yeah. If you have the money, why not? Uh, no. yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a process. Yeah. I don't see, I don't know. All right. Um... Yeah, I was, uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. So I get that information about, like, uh, the cost and all that back at the front, right? One more time. The information about cost to get it out? Or yeah, just keep it back in the front? Gotcha. Hmm. And how long did the cars stay here before they get sent to auction or... That's another question for him. Oh, because gotcha. Uh, the quicker the owner comes, the quicker they shoot him out. Huh. But if it, nobody ever comes, usually it takes a month. About a month? Month process. Gotcha. It looks like there might be some things worth auctioning in, oh, in here. <laughs> There's some decent the cars. The really? Yeah. Aston Martin, huh? $160,000 James Bond car. Yeah, one of the newer ones, 2016. Damn. They didn't pick it up. That car gets shot at? <laughs> That's great. See all types of stuff over here, I bet, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. I've never seen the inside of a big, yeah, big tow yard. <laughs> These are all uh, through LAPD or some are just parking? It's crazy. Uh, I could wait if you need to handle that. No, 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 I'd have to turn it off. I couldn't hear you. Okay. Um, oh, I just need to find out the cost if I 
leave it as of today and if I took it out as of today? If you were to pick it up, it would be 577.30. If you were to leave it, half of that. Okay, and that just changes by $50 per day, right? No, it's 40 70 per day to pick up. So half of 40 70 20 35 a day to leave it. Okay, and in the... In the situation that we did leave it, I just leave you the, the title registration stuff and then that package you would have to leave. Yeah. And then that's it, just done? Yeah. Uh, we'll, like right now, five seven seven thirty. You're looking at two eighty eight sixty five. We're open every day, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. And if I go that route, do I need to get the sheriff's release? No, if you're gonna not picking it up, you do not need the release. Okay, cool. Thank you, sir. Um, Okay, if I do take it, yeah. Okay. <sighs> all right, y'all. Got all the info. It's time to make a decision now. Uh, I'm not lying. I would like to see you guys' opinion. Get in the comments down below. Let me know. Should I pay up? Get it out. If I get it out as of tomorrow, which would be the earliest I could get it out, that would be 586 plus basically 100 bucks damn near $700 because I'm sure there's going to be tax on that amount maybe if not then you know maybe around like $680 uh, either way man it's a nice chunk of change and it would be half that to just let it go start over you know more maybe when I'm more capable when I have a garage so I could actually do this the right way I don't know at the same time Johnny's still telling me that I can tow it over there tomorrow if I get everything together that would mean going to get a wheel for it getting the engine and the transmission so I could take everything at once somehow I don't even know how that would be possible but well, I guess we could do that separately but we would at least need to get a wheel for it put it on um, and that's it so let me know what you guys think man very pivotal decision I'm asking you guys for guidance uh, yup make sure to smash the like button if you watch the whole thing can't forget that that, uh, that always helps but yeah, man, got some thinking to do. Got some thinking to do. See you guys tomorrow.